Hello, my name is Benoît Servas. Uh, I'm 23 years old and I am from uh, Bordeaux in France. It's uh, in the southwest of France. Um, I studied the Bible for two years and now I am serving the Lord in my own church and I am also doing a part-time job on the side. Uh, today I'm going to talk about France. So in France uh, we are uh, 67 million people and uh, we, according to studies, we have 3% uh, of uh, evangelical, uh, which means that we have uh, churches, uh, but it's not so much. Uh, in France, we don't have so many churches. Uh, if we compare it to other countries in the, in the world, um, those let's say in Bordeaux, I would say we probably have 25 to 30 churches, uh, but it's a very small, uh, small uh, communities. Uh, so it's not uh, huge churches. Uh, for example, my church, we've been growing uh, for 30 years, like it started 30 years ago almost, and now we are about 100 people, if you count the children, and it's good to count the children. Um, so yes, uh, we can also say that in France, there are 15% um, um, atheists, uh, people in France are mostly uh, rather they grew up without any uh, religious uh, uh, education or they grew up in a Catholic uh, education and uh, were disappointed but many people would say that um, they don't believe in God at all they don't think God is uh, existing and they would uh, actually believe that um, man uh, man invented God. Um, we also have 9% uh, uh, of Muslims. Uh, in France we have uh, uh, a growing community of uh, Muslims because France is uh, very multicultural. We cannot say that France is white. This is not true. Uh, France is um, colorful and uh, we have uh, people from all over the world who actually arrived here years ago and now uh, their children uh, are French because they, they were born here and so their education and their culture uh, were brought to France so France is multicultural. Um, we can also talk about uh, the 40% uh, of people without any beliefs, uh, people who are uh, not considered as religious uh, neither atheists, uh, they're just not uh, uh, believing in anything particular. Um, let's say that um, it's not uh, the easiest here to be in France, but it's not the hardest. Um, one thing is hard here is that people like to have their own privacy. They don't, they don't like to actually get closer to strangers uh, so outreach is really difficult um, for example you would almost never find someone in the street sharing the gospel out loud uh, neither stopping people to talk about Jesus uh, here uh, outreach will be more like a, an individual uh, meetings um, very informal times where you actually build relationships and trust and, and share your faith in a very simple way and that's how people actually want to listen to you. Uh, so yeah, in this area France is very difficult and the laws are not helpful either because um, there is a there are restrictions on the laws uh, for the churches, for uh, for us for example in our church we were we are looking for a place to stay because uh, our building is too small now and um, and it's very difficult because uh, the, the city hall um, the authorities are not helping this process they would you know find all, many ways to stop us from from finding a, a bigger place so it's uh, sometimes it's disappointing but uh, we know that God is faithful and he has been faithful for 30 years already with our church so we know that he will continue to do so so uh, if you
can pray for our church because uh, we actually uh, need guidance and wisdom. Um, uh, it's very encouraging because the church is growing anyway and we're going to start to have two services from uh, this November. So, so yes, but um, pray for France in general because uh, France is uh, not the easiest place uh, to be a Christian. Uh, and uh, and we actually need people to, to uh, take position for the Lord and 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 share their faith and have a real impact on French people. So if uh, if if you have the desire to come to France and actually share your faith, uh, we we need missionaries. We need people who actually invest their time and energy uh, to in churches. Um, yeah. Most of our churches had. Um, this wrong perspective on having just one pastor holding everything and then the members just following while today we're trying to actually um, split all the responsibilities and uh, this is not the easiest but we we need people serving and our church is uh, is fine uh, but there are many churches that are not uh, even in Bordeaux here many churches uh, lacking leaders uh, responsibles uh, actually want to serve the Lord uh, in those difficult places so thank you so much uh, for listening to me uh, please pray for friends pray for missionaries uh, uh, who come to France it's a very difficult place for missionaries um, actually because uh, French people are even though we're multicultural whenever someone from elsewhere comes especially if it's religious uh, French people would actually take a step back and not want to listen. So pray for those people, pray for us. Um, and, um, and yeah, thank you so much. And um, 